welcome in. My name is Jason, aka the Sin City Bartender. Today we are continuing my series of making the best cocktails from Ogus Cantina at home and on a budget. Today we have the T16 Skyhopper and this is stunning. It's almost identical to what they have at Disney. Let's get into making this thing, but before we do that, you know we have to go over the ingredients list, which Thank God we finally got a simple one. Let's talk about it. So the ingredients call for Tito's Handmade Vodka. I personally do not believe in buying expensive vodkas. If you see anything expensive in the background here, it was a gift. Don't pay for vodka. I love Smirnoff. I love Svedka. The most I'll pay for a vodka is like 15 bucks. Vodka is not worth it. Save your money for whiskey, gin, literally any other spirit. After the Tito's, it calls for Bull's Mountain Liqueur, which I was actually a little bit shocked by. I felt like Disney easily could have got a partnership with Midori. That's what we're using. So for once, I'm actually elevating on their behalf. But if you don't have Midori at home, just use any Mountain Liqueur. It's really not that big of a deal in my opinion. Sometimes you do need to splurge for more expensive ingredients. Not for Mountain Liqueur, not in my opinion, says the guy with Midori. Anyway, next ingredient is going to be fresh kiwi. I can find those most times of the year. That's not hard at all to get a hold of. And our final ingredient is going to be half and half. You guys know me. You know that this is a budget edition. We're using some quality Walmart brand half and half. I don't pay for shit, but hey, let's make this drink. For the first ingredient for the T16, we're going to do half a kiwi. Now we're going to do one ounce of melon liqueur. That's a lot, but given that the half and half and vodka are the only other ingredients, I think it's a fair amount. Now let's muddle that together. It's better to muddle now than when the glass is completely full of all the liquor. And I think a little bit of liquid does help, so you don't want to really muddle it dry either. Next we're going to add the vodka. Let's do an ounce and a half. And this is a simple drink. The last ingredient is half and half. I'm actually going to do an ounce of this too. I think we need a lot in here to be honest. Now we add our ice. And let's shake it out. Now, if you guys have watched my videos more than once, you know that I'm anything but a perfectionist. That being said, this is a cocktail that you must double strain. The kiwi in there is just gonna be too much. It's not gonna go well. It'd be like drinking a smoothie. But if you like that, you know, don't double strain. I'm going to. I'm going to be fancy for one time in my life. See how beautiful that looks? Oh my gosh. Well, I can tell you what, the color is spot on with what they have at Disney. There is a lot of kiwi in here. Oh yeah, there's so many seeds in here. This is a must double strain, guys. There's no way about it. Now this is beautiful. The color is spectacular. It looks absolutely delicious. But we're not just trying to make beautiful drinks. We're trying to make copycat drinks. And I'm a little bit nervous because there's so few ingredients. I feel like it's very easy to mess up, but let's try it. Wow. Okay, so you kind of get this one in two different parts. When you first drink the cocktail, you're kind of getting that melon and vodka. I do think I made this on a stronger side because there wasn't a lot of sweetness to calm this one down. Delicious, and then on its way down, you get more of that cream, that kiwi, and it really, really makes for a spectacular cocktail. I'm really impressed by this. Comparable to Disney, I think there's a sweeter. Um, now, I'm not quite sure what that's down to. There could easily be some sugar, cane sugar that they love in the mix that they just didn't list on the source I found. Found. That being said, if you don't mind a little bit stronger of a cocktail, make it the same way I did. It's exceptionally delicious, just a little bit stronger. So there you have it. That's the T16 Skyhopper from Ogus Cantina, budget edition at home, and we killed it. If I'm going to rate this one, let's give it an 8. I think an 8 is a very fair number. And I hope to see you guys back for the next cocktail we make from Ogus Cantina. Mm -hmm.